Hello, I'd like to welcome everybody to DX Engineering. This is a, a very, very special day today here at DX Engineering. Uh, it's the beginning of a new year, 2015, and uh, we thought we would start it out with a special event uh, here in Talmadge, Ohio. And today uh, we're welcoming Martin F. Jew, K5FLU, who is the CEO and founder of MFJ Enterprises. And of course, MFJ makes a lot of amateur radio equipment. So we decided to have MFJ Day at DX Engineering. And it's the first time we've ever had a uh, customer appreciation event, uh, a vendor event. And uh, we welcomed almost 300 hams here at MFJ Day uh, here in Talmadge, Ohio. It's, uh, it's about five degrees outside. And Martin, we're very honored to have you here and uh, welcome to DX Engineering. Thank you. I have really enjoyed being up here with all the snow, which we don't have in Mississippi. Yeah, this time of the year, you, we, uh, we get a lot of lake effect snow and, uh, of course, uh, some of the weather fronts that have gone through. But um, you brought a whole truckload of MFJ product up here. Um, is this something that you do on a routine basis? Uh, well, we would really like to do this on a routine basis coming up here. Uh, but no, this is, has been an unusual event for us, and it's been very, very good. We got a chance to meet lots of new hams that I haven't met before, and, and lots of hams that I have met at Dayton Ham Fest. Right, and I mean, at Dayton, uh, the MFJ companies encompass a very large area on the main floor at Dayton. So this was a little different in that you got to, to meet some customers that you hadn't talked to before. Yeah, I, I did. And uh, they're, they're all very interesting. I just enjoy visiting uh, with them and especially some of the uh, old timers that were telling me how they got started. And, and do, you ever, uh, do you ever get product suggestions? Oh, all the time, all the time. You know, a lot of our products are products that people have told us that they want it and need it. And, and then you've gone back and uh, sat with your designers and, and figured out ways to build these things. And, um, you know, how many years have you been doing this now? Uh, since 1972, going on 43 years. Now. 43 years of building amateur radio products. And, and I mean, do you think that there's any ham shacks, at least in the United States, that don't have one of your products? Well, I hope not. <laughs> I mean, it, it, uh, it seems to me that, uh, that you have touched the lives of so many amateur radio operators building affordable products, or even if you think about uh, the high gain antennas, uh, maybe even the high gain verticals, how long have they been around? Oh man. Well, you know, when I was a junior at Mississippi State University, I bought, used a high gain 14 AVQ. Well, uh, we are still making that high gain 14 ABQ. Wow. Yeah, it's a fantastic antenna. Just a classic antenna. 50 years later, so, so that antenna that you owned back then, you could still get parts for it today. Absolutely. And those same parts would, be, would fit it and fit, fit every one of them. Fit every one of them. And, and there's, there's hundreds of other products from Cushcraft and Vectronics and Mirage, and these were all companies that you bought. Right, yeah. yeah. And rescued them. And yeah, yeah, brought them back to life, made all the parts available. Uh, you know, there have uh, been uh, some high gain rotators that people have had for the last 25, 30 years. They can get all the parts and rebuild them if they like. Right, <laughs> right, and, uh, and, and of course those rotators, they started out with CDE. Yeah. And which was in the 1950s. <laughs> and, and you've kept the availability of affordable amateur radio equipment in line. Yeah. I mean... Well, well that, was, that was the whole go. You know, I remember back when I was a novice, you know, back in the early days, you're young, didn't have much money, and uh, just wanted to uh, uh, let our hams now be able to experience ham radio without having to spend a lot of money. 
And, and now you're also offering kits. Well, we are. Uh, we have got an antenna tuner kit that uh, brings back the pride of being able to build your own products. That's and save a little bit of money at the same time. Right. That, that's, that's outstanding because um, I can imagine uh, when you were getting started, you probably built a lot of kits. Oh, wow. He kit during those days, yeah. So, and, and maybe that was an inspiration for some of the MFJ? <laughs> Um, products? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, they had the, um, um, let's see, anyway, the single band HW series of transceivers. So we did a modern version of single band, single side band transceivers like that. Jeez. <laughs> and, and the vast majority of your products are manufactured in Mississippi? Uh, over 90% of the products are made right there in Starkville, Mississippi. Wow. That, that, that is, uh, is incredible. And again, Martin, I want to thank you very much for talking to us here. And, uh, and we're recording some history as well as coming to uh, Talmadge, Ohio to DX Engineering. And we're inside the Summit Racing Equipment uh, Superstore here in Talmadge where DX Engineering serves customers seven days a week, 12 hours a day. And of course, uh, both MFJ and DX Engineering are, are great partners and great partners on our web sites. And you can go to and uh, find information on all the MFJ companies and DX Engineering. Uh, all the companies that we represent is available at dxengineering.com. So 73 from MFJ Day at DX Engineering.